Let's imagine a scenario. You're stepping into a, a boxing ring. The weight of the gloves making your hands heavy. An eerie silence descends. As the bell rings, the fight commences. But this isn't a clash of fists. It's a test of emotional resilience, patience, and self-awareness. Who are you up against? A narcissist. So today, let's get into seven tactics that can equip you to handle a narcissist effectively. Now moving forward, let's imagine being involved in a familiar childhood game, whack-a-mole. It's often found it at carnivals and arcades. Picture the frantic pace, the moles popping out unpredictably, your mallet hitting down on these moles. Each interaction with the narcissist can sometimes feel like whack-a-mole. They constantly hurl argument after argument, criticism after criticism, like a relentless stream of moles aiming to disorientate you and, and also just kind of throw you off your game. Their goal is to, to overwhelm you, to destabilize you mentally, unbalance you, much like the moles that keep popping up unexpectedly. Your task is to hold your ground, maintain focus, and not get lost in the confusion, much like choosing a specific mole to target first and focusing on hitting it despite the distractions. It's easy to get sidetracked by distractions or become emotionally invested in the narcissist's hassles, but keeping a level head and staying focused is so necessary. Next, we venture into setting emotional boundaries, an essential strategy when navigating relationships with narcissists. Let's do a thought experiment. Picture yourself standing in front of someone who is trying to hand you a blazing torch, the flames licking the air and radiating intense heat. Would you accept it and hold on to the burning torch and all of the danger that it presents? Or would you just take a step back? and decline this, this harmful offer. Now, you'd most likely choose the safe option and not take the blazing torch. A narcissist entangled in their emotional storms might attempt to offload their emotional baggage onto you. It could come as guilt tripping, blaming, or even manipulating you to take responsibility for their feelings or actions. But it's, it's, it's like almost critical to understand that their emotional turbulence is their responsibility, not a burden you must shoulder, not a blazing torch you must hold. It's vital to set clear emotional boundaries to prevent such undue emotional strain. Boundaries are like invisible shields that protect your mental and also your emotional health, defining what you will and also what you won't accept from others. When interacting with a narcissist, they safeguard you from being manipulated or drawn into their chaotic emotional world. Documenting their lies can also be a powerful tool. This could be as simple as jotting down incidents in a journal, capturing screenshots of conversations, of course, where it's legal and it's appropriate. Such evidence serves as a reminder of their deceptive behavior when they try to manipulate reality and can also be used to expose their deceit to others when the situation calls for it. Now, just as in the wilderness where you would avoid feeding a grizzly bear because doing so would only empower it, potentially increasing its aggression and danger to you, the same rule applies when dealing with narcissists. Feeding their egos through lots of praise and Submission or even just allowing them to belittle you or to dismiss your feelings and experiences only just fuels their sense of entitlement and superiority. Feeding a narcissist's ego can take many forms. It can be as obvious as singing their praises when undeserved or just as, a, as subtle as, as tolerating disrespectful behavior. By consistently giving in to their demands, you may be unintentionally feeding their belief in their right to have control over you. They might interpret your kindness as a weakness, your compromises as submission, and your, your empathy as a green light to exploit you. Now here's where self-respect and assertiveness come into play. Assert your right to be treated with respect and dignity. 
Make it clear that you are not a prop or a background character, but a person with their own thoughts, feelings, and also just their perspectives. Recognize your own worth and refuse to be treated as less than they are. Now, what I want you to do is close your eyes and imagine yourself standing on a rocky shore. The sea before you, it's, it's churning. The waves gather momentum, ending in a gigantic wave coming towards you with seemingly unstoppable force. You literally have two choices, to be swept away or to step aside. Watch it crash and fall away without causing harm. Dealing with a narcissist can be similar to navigating stormy seas. It can be unpredictable, turbulent, and even like just quite exhausting. However, just as sailors learn to read the waves, you too can learn to understand and navigate the, the narcissist's behavior. Your weapon is disengagement, refusing to allow their behavior to control or affect you. Now, practicing disengagement is like learning the art of dodging the wave. You don't have to respond to every time that they're baiting you, knowing when to pick your battles and realizing that not every action demands your reaction. Now, while the words might seem forceful and their behavior intimidating, the moment you step aside, their impact becomes significantly less strong. Now, finally, we arrive at the awe-inspiring power of the word no. This isn't a statement or a response. It's a robust statement of your boundaries. Narcissists are notorious for attempting to invade your personal space, trying to get under your skin or pushing the boundaries of your comfort zone to gain control. They may also try to claim credit for your accomplishments, seizing your recognition, and enjoying what is not their glory. It might seem like a simple two-letter word, but when used effectively, it wields incredible power. Equip yourself with these tactics, and remember the goal isn't to triumph in every squirmish. Stand tall, chin up. You've got this. Until our next encounter, take care. As we journey together, remember to keep these tactics close. They may not alter and change the narcissist, but they can drastically improve your interactions with them. And that in itself can create a significant difference. Thanks very much for watching. Bye for now.